Here's a quick introduction video to the seam sewing pattern add-on for Blender 2.8 and higher. This add-on aims to assist in turning 3D meshes into flat sewing patterns, ready for cloth simulation in Blender. You can use this add-on for rendering purposes alone, or you can export the resulting pattern for printing and real-life sewing. The basic concept of this add-on is simple. A mesh's UV map, which already looks like a sewing pattern, is put in 3D space roughly where the original mesh islands were. For a more even cloth sim, a remesh function is also available. If you're satisfied with the pattern, you can run a cloth simulation to see the result. You can go back and alter the cuts and try again if needed. When you're done iterating, you can export the UV layout as a printable sewing pattern. You'll see me using this add-on mostly for stuffed shapes, like this Suzanne example, but you can also use it for regular garment making, like this. It's hard to create a matching sewing pattern from a particular 3D shape, such as a ball in this example. We could cut the ball down the middle, but this won't result in a very good ball. It's more of a cushion. Additional cuts make it a bit better, but still not great at all. We could try a soccer ball shape. That does look like a ball. Maybe a tennis ball. This could work if the fabric was a bit stretchier. How about the way you might try, but ultimately fail, to peel an orange? It's only one piece, but it still works. This type of iteration is exactly what this add-on is made for. And what better test subject than Suzanne? I've gone ahead and subdivided the mesh once and added a mirror modifier. I've also replaced the eyes as the default eyes are not connected to the rest of the geometry. First we have to add some seams where we think they'll look best. Because of the topology, there are some obvious places where we can place our seams. Along the head is an obvious one. Let's place it along this loop. It's important that the seams match up with the UVs, as the seams are used to cut up the mesh by the add-on. The ears don't have a nice loop around them, so we'll have to make an arbitrary cut there. We can use the Connect Vertex path under the J key or the Knife tool. This leaves us with some ugly, tiny triangles and short edges. This might cause some issues later down the line, so let's try one of the tools that the add-on comes with. Clean up knife cut. It can be found under the Edge context menu. Select the edge chain and call the operator. Adjust the min edge length until the smallest edges are gone. We'll leave the Relax iterations at zero, as the selected chain is already nice and straight. Lastly, we'll relax the neighboring vertices. And there we go. Before you run the simulation, we'll have to inspect the UVs. Unwrap your model and open a UV editor. Under View, Display, Overlays, you can enable the stretching overlay. We're interested in the area overlay. A few areas are lighting up more than I would like, so I'm adding some additional cuts. Once that's done, go to Object, Seams to Sewing Pattern, Seams to Sewing Pattern. A small window will pop up. I'll keep the remesh option turned on with a target number of triangles at 10,000. That's looking pretty good. All parts seem to be in place and they are connected with empty edges which function as sewing lines. Next, go to Object, Seams to Sewing Pattern, Quick Cloth Sim. This will set up a cloth sim with some standard values. I'll leave it as is. The add-on also stores some values in Object Properties, such as the UV to World Scale and the volume of the mesh before the unwrap. You can use this volume in your cloth sim if you want. Let's see how the simulation performs. Great, I'm happy with this result, but you can always undo and iterate some more until you have the sewing pattern you're after. If you're interested in sewing your object in real life, there's an operator that exports your sewing pattern to an SVG file for printing. You should call the operator after you have already called the seams to sewing pattern operator, as some data produced by this operator are required for the export. The dimensions of your exported sewing pattern should match the size of your object if your object scale is applied. Alignment markers can also be exported, they should help you align your parts when sewing. Every sewing line, so the empty edges in your mesh which are marked as seam, are exported as an alignment marker. You can also use the Auto Detect feature to automatically find lines of interest. These SVGs can be assembled in an application like Inkscape on print size pages. I assembled mine on two sheets of A4. Transfer the pattern on a piece of fabric like this old curtain. Cut the pieces out, leaving a bit of space around the lines for sewing. Now you can start assembling your parts. The alignment markers we exported before will help us align the parts when pinning them together. 
If you have a sewing machine, go ahead and use it. And if you've never used one before, I highly recommend trying it out. You'll probably have to hand sew some parts that are too hard to reach with the machine. Suzanne is looking a bit messy, but wait until we turn it inside out. That's much better. Now I'll stuff it with some wool and sew the gap I left shut. And we're all done! To get started yourself, visit the website linked in the description for download instructions. There's a repository on GitLab, so if you want to contribute, have a look. Have fun!